Okay, guys, so with this one, let's talk about the dream. Um, when you dream of dream of being in a school, you know, a lot of people have this type of dream and it's a profit. What does this mean? You know, what can this indicate? Number one, understands this when it comes to the realm of dreams and the understanding of dreams. Dreams can have many different uh, meanings uh, dependent on the person, dependent on the call of the person. Uh, what do I mean by this? For example, if you take a dream, um, it's not a definite answer, basically, you know. So if you take a dream and you're in the school, let's say person number one, they have a dream and they're in the school and they're noticing that it's demonic spirits within that school. And you know, this, this person may be walking towards the demonic spirits and the demonic spirits is running from that person, right? Well, that usually indicates, um, it could indicate that you're going to have a ministry of deliverance ministry. You're going to take part in um, delivering a lot of people throughout your ministry. This is a school dream, right? The school school usually typically represents ministry. Now, you could take person number two. Um, this person is in the, in the school and they're uh, standing before a crowd and they're teaching. So this showcase that this person is going to have a teaching ministry. You guys get what I'm saying? So I hope you get the gist of that. Um, the best way, guys, to interpret dreams is through the Holy Spirit. People ask me all the time, how do you know what dreams mean? And I say, well, I literally don't. I just listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit. I ask the Holy Spirit. I pray. Um, I'm led by the Holy Spirit. The dreams that the Holy Spirit leads me to interpret it is actually from him. You can only dream from two places. You could dream from the place of God. You could dream from the place of the flesh. So the dreams that I don't hear nothing about, I don't hear nothing from the Holy Spirit. I don't hear no guidance or anything of that nature. I just don't touch it. I don't force it. You see, because God is not the author of confusion. God will lead you to truth and all understanding of his way his will, and his word. I pray this blesses you. God bless you. In the mighty name of Jesus.